Good morning, class. Today, Isaac and I are going to be doing our superhero. We decided that our superhero is going to be based off of Spider-Man. So, we will change our Spider-Man a little bit when we color it. It might have different powers. For instance, I'm going to make my Spider-Man a girl. So, no, we're just going to call him regular. Isaac is going to do regular Spider-Man, and he can make his comic like that. So, if you are having trouble thinking, you can you can make it off a regular superhero. So, are you ready, guys? We're going to do the drawing video with you. So, let's do our drawing video together. Put those off to the side, and we're going to use our markers first. We're going to draw a cartoon version of Spider-Man. So, we're going to yeah. try and keep it nice and easy. We're going to first start with his head. We're going to draw an upside down egg shape. Okay. All right. So we're going to start down here, go right in the middle. We're going to draw it upside down so that we have down at the bottom uh, a shape that looks like his chin. So I'm going to draw an upside down egg. So down here, it's kind of has a point for his chin and then has a big round up here at the top for his forehead. Yeah, that's good. a good spot. Let's see. You're going to start by the top of the head right here. We'll just draw his head right in the middle of the paper. Bye bye, Robbie! Yeah, Not so down at the bottom, you can have his chin. His little point here. Up the top, round. Yeah, he's going to have a skinny head. That's okay. Yeah, a little bit skinny. Round. Yeah, just like okay, that. Let's see what we can do. Good job. I don't he's going to have a flat head. Yet. That's all right. It's totally cool. No mistakes, right? Yeah. What's the most important thing? To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to practice. All right, let's draw his eyes. He's okay. so right in the middle of, eyes well, towards the bottom, but in the middle of his head. He's going to be looking off to the left. We're going to put two dots, and they're not, they're close together, but not too close, and that's because we want to leave a space where his nose would be. be. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's your spider That's perfect. Now here we're going to draw, for one eye, we're going to draw a football shape. What? Because he's Spider-Man, okay. he has bug eyes. What? Yeah. And this can maybe come closer to the head. <laughs> Draw your bug eye. His head. What there the we go. bug eye? The bottom. Bug eyes. Bottom of his eye. It looks like a football. I want to draw that. American football. It does look like a football. Yeah, Good. football. Now, on this side, we're going to draw another eye, football but it's going to be squashed turn. because it's on the side of his head. So we're going to draw it. Come up and touch side and then down here at the bottom <laughs> bottom of his eye and i went outside it's okay <laughs> i just like uh doing smiles now good all right he looks like smile. an alien yeah. <laughs> and now we're gonna fast forward but we're gonna thicken up okay, his let's... eyes but we want to make sure we leave what a we gap next? in between his eyes for his for his mask okay let's see so i'm drawing with pencil so i'm not all right we got that. a thicker line going around his eyes now you're ready for the spider web. Yeah. Okay, you ready spider web? In the middle, right in between his eyes, we're going to draw an A shape. An A? And we're going to draw the That's center a... of his mask, and then the spider web is going to go out from that. And then below it, we're going to do a V shape to connect one side to the other. It's kind of like a nose. a little teeny diamond nose. Yes. Now we're going to draw the first part of the spider web going over his forehead. It's going to go in between his eyes and then curve over the top of his head. We'll go up and then curve over, and that makes his head look round. Now we're going to draw two more his webs coming out. This one's going to go right. over this eye. I'm trying to draw like we're him. still curving it. I think you want him. Yeah, okay. good. And then one more over this side. This side is going to come up over his eye and then just barely ah. curve. He looks angry. Here we go. Good. Now we're going to draw two place. going down. One, two. What? This doesn't make any sense. You just do your you best. That's all that matters. Cheek. On this side, and then another one on this side of his cheek. Now that we got those lines, let's draw the other part of his web. Okay. So we're going to draw the first. How could he even talk about kind of U-shapes that connect each other. Little U-shapes. So right in between his eyes. Then we're going to draw one right here just over his eye. And then we're going to connect to the okay. middle of his forehead and over to the other one and then down to his eye. Good job. Now we're going to draw the last one on top of his head. 
It's going to curve over to the middle. And then down to the next one. And then we're going to curve down to his eye. Now let's draw the ones over his mouth. We're going to draw one right under his eye. And it's going to connect to the next one. Over to the next one. Until we get all the way over to the side. We did his face. Now we're going to draw his body, okay. his arms. Let's start with his shoulder. We're going to start with a V shape right here. We're going to start with a V. That's for his shoulder muscle. Now we're going to curve up and connect to his cheek. Now we're going to draw his arm. So this is his shoulder, and the arm is going to come out under his shoulder. And we're going to draw the outside of his arm. Good. Now let's draw his fist. So we're going to connect one side to the other. That, and I'm leaving a little gap for his thumb. And then we'll draw a C shape for his thumb. Okay, the thumb's on the other side. Cool, now halfway up his arm, we're going to draw a contour line, a curved line. See how that makes his arm look round? Now let's draw the spider webs. We're going to draw three lines down. One, two, three. Then we're going to draw the webs that connect in between those lines. That. So just draw U shapes. And I'm going to draw one more below that one. And we did it. Good job. Ooh. Now let's draw the spider webs on his shoulder. Draw one curve this way. And then we'll draw another curve going the other way. And then we're going to connect them by drawing lines upside down U shapes. And then I'm going to draw a couple more up here. And if we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video. We're doing okay. going too fast and you need extra time to catch up. Now let's draw his other hand over here. This will be coming out the side of his head. Let's see. Okay. So one arm, one line for his He's arm. He's got an arm out his head. Another line for the other side of his arm. Now of his own head. That's hilarious. And then we're going to connect it. Connect it. Then let's draw his fingers. It looks like you got the tiny yeah, arm, thumb, right, Mom? <laughs> I'm just too big. Then we're going to draw his other fingers sticking out, and they're just U shapes. I'm going to draw three fingers. What? You know, like it's three fingers, huh? Or Spider Man had Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. <laughs> now we're going to draw the spider webs. So we're going to draw two lines. I'm going to do five. Now we're going to draw the cross webs. Oh, we got to draw our arms. Now on each of his fingers, I'm going to do another spider web. On each of his fingers. Now let's draw his body. We're going to draw a little curve right here for his chest. And then we're going to draw a curve coming out over his shoulder. And then down. Good. Now we're going to draw an upside down U that connects to his arm. Oopsie, Mom. It's okay. The main mistake. It's okay. We fix mistakes. No big deal. Draw his belt line. Oh, he's going to have a belt. A little curve to make his body look round. Then we can draw little spider webs. Next, let's draw his legs. We'll draw the first one coming out in front of him like he's kicking. We're gonna draw Ninja one kick. up under his chin and then it's gonna bend down. Ninja Good. And then we'll draw the top of his foot. <laughs> Mom. Is it really just so he's gonna get back to it, Dad? Of his foot and it's, it's like he, other direction. It's like he's it's kicking in front of his own arm. arm. Uh Spider Man's very flexible. Up. Around his knee. And and knees are supposed to round up when it's. Now, the bottom of his feet, so his legs are blue, but the bottom of his feet have spider webs on them. So we'll draw a contour line on that part. We'll also draw a contour line on his foot. 
I work best. And then let's draw the spider webs. So let's draw three lines. One, two, three. And then we can draw the cross webs. And watch this. I'm going to go. I'm going to draw the U's so that they Gracias. curve on like the top of his. I don't know that. You see that? It's okay. We're so just I'm going to curve like this, and I curve down. So I kind of, kind of make this. It's too hard. The shoe's really hard for me. That matches. The it's okay top. if something's hard for you. We can fix it when we color it. Yes, just like that. Oops, curve down. Oops. There you go. What's he missing? Uh, his other leg. Yeah, he's missing this leg over here. We're going to draw a light coming down. Oh, yeah. We're going to draw the top of his leg well, that comes I down to his knee. And then we're going to draw his leg. muscle for the bottom part of his leg. This looks really weird to me. Yeah. And then we got to draw his foot. Curve coming this way. And then back up. Now we oh. need to draw his spider web shoe over on this side. What? Curve. I see. Why are you even going on this direction? That so way. Like his foot's going back. And we'll draw two lines going down his shoe. Then we're oh, going to draw see. one coming up his foot. And then let's draw the webs going across. I made this. We'll draw little U shapes going down, connecting. And then also on his foot. Alright, now what is he missing? The spider is standing on its back. Yeah, the spider symbol on his costume. So let's draw a curve going down his back and then color it in. And then we'll draw the symbol. little spider legs. So we'll have to color that Little in. lines coming out from the center circle. Or the body of the spider. <laughs> well, look, maybe it's good. Do you get a uh, drawing Spider Man? He's gonna look even better once we color him. You got any color pencils? Oh, now, here is where you can get creative. Like, I want it to be a girl. So, Mom, we're not making it look like a girl. Oh, yes, I am. Watch this. So, they I am gonna add a ponytail. Like, it looks like that. That spider girls are not even real. Spider girls. See, I just drew a little ponytail like that with two little squiggly lines. I'm going to add some more hair. Okay. Well, Nikki, yours look a little bit funny. <gasps> look at that. Uh, so, my spider girl has the power to fly. So, we can talk about what kind of powers you want your spider person to have or you may not have done a spider person so my spider girl can fly because her spider pack her little spider man thing here it turns into a jet pack so i am going to add a jet pack on here really oh, that's hilarious i'm sorry spider girl is super smart so she made a jet pack and she can fly so i made me a jet pack so no. my spider girl, because she's super smart, she wanted to fly. So no. she can fly. No, she can with the <gasps> jetpack. The webs. It's only okay, so she can shoot webs. Yeah. But what other powers could Spider Man or Spider Girl do? Spider Man can do shoot webs. Um, Spider Man can swing on the webs, right? Don't forget about Spidey Sense. Ah, oh, Spider Sense. No, I don't even know to do that word. It's okay. I'm going to spell it on mine. Spidey so, on mine, let me see if I can get that close enough. I have wrote down some of the superpowers today. So, you are going oh, okay. to write down the superhero powers for your superhero after you get done drawing it and color it. Shoot webs. And so we've got shoot webs, swing. fly, swing, spider sense. You can add any power you want to your superhero, okay? And you may choose to do Superman, Supergirl, and then just change it. Now, we got to name our character. Well, I'm not just going to call it Spider Girl. I'm going to call it... Super Spider Girl no. is the name. Mom, Super 
spider. That doesn't make any sense, Mom. Oh, okay. How about this? Just call it super. I'm going to call it fly, flying no. spider girl. I can name it whatever I want. So I've got flying spider girl here that I'm going to color. I've got her superhero powers and I'm going to color her. So today, draw your superhero, write down your superhero powers and name your superhero. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. I love and miss all of you and I hope you have fun with this activity. Bye guys.